Bossinator and welcome back to the channel and this is the first episode of my GM mode uh, where me and Shadowhunter will be competing to see who is the better GM out of the both of us and we already did the draft earlier so all I did was set up the shows and now we're going to see how everything goes and now I already booked the Raw show which you're going to see soon but this is the Smackdown show Shadowhunter show and yeah I think we're just going to start things off here I wasn't able to do all everything just want to let everybody know that because of money constraints so i wasn't able to get everybody but i was able to at least get enough people for the matches so without further ado let's confirm the booking for smackdown of course we can't can't really do much so let's just let's just get going and start off with my show here and we're gonna start off with ricochet and jeff hardy versus finn balor carrying cross to determine the raw tag team champions we're gonna simulate here and, ooh, Ricochet and Jeff Hardy, first tag champs. All right, two-star matchup to start off. It's perfectly fine. Bailey and Io Shirai going to take on one another for to determine the number one contender for Bianca Belair's Raw Women's Championship. One, two, three. And it looks as if Bailey's going to face Bianca Belair. One and a half star. Not, not a great star here. But let's hope and see if Bianca and Liv can get a big one. No, the heels again get a... All right, two and a half star. Not too bad, not too bad. Roman Reigns gets a sell promo. Has a good promo. And now it is time to determine who will face Roman Reigns for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania Backlash. Will it be Randy Orton or Keith Lee? Let's spectate this and let's see how everything goes. And here we are in the high school gym, of course, here in Cleveland, Ohio. And like I said earlier, it, we are going to determine the number one contender for the championship. But, you know, this is going to be one of two matches that we're going to see here tonight. And of course, coming out first is the legend killer. Randy Orton, a multiple-time world champion, looking to get back into the title picture. But in order for him to do so, he has to take on a very tough task in front of him in the limitless one, Keith Lee, as he is looking for his first major world title in WWE, If in case if you're not counting the NXT championship. But Randy Orton not willing to pass the torch, you know, he wants to stay on top. But in, order, but in order for him to do so, he has to win here tonight. But even then, how is he going to fare in a few weeks when he goes up against the Tribal Chief if he is successful here tonight? But again, we're just going to have to wait and see. And Randy Orton just soaking it in here in this high school gym. As Randy Orton now going to pull the pose. And, and this crowd not giving a very warm reception to this guy. I mean, he could show a little bit more respect to the legend killer here, but again, to each their own. They paid their money to, to watch this stuff. But now, out comes somebody who is used to the bingo halls. And that is the former NXT champion, the only person to hold the North American title and NXT title simultaneously. And that is the limitless one, Keith Lee. And his opponent from Wichita Falls, Texas, weighing in at 320 pounds, Keith Lee. So the limitless one looking to be in the main event picture here, but in order for him to do so, like I said, has to beat Randy Orton. And Keith Lee has done a, some stuff in this business and in this company in a short period of time. Like I said, being a former NXT champion, former NXT North American champion, has yet to win main roster gold, but can do so, or at least be on the path to doing so, if he can get a big win over Randy Orton, which he has done before. If you recall, he did beat Randy Orton a, few, a couple years ago at Payback after Randy Orton basically almost nearly ended the career of Drew McIntyre. 
But again, we're just going to have to wait and see how everything goes here tonight for Keith Lee. As history may not repeat itself. And now this crowd's chanting, Bask in Keith Lee's glory. As here we go, Keith Lee and Randy Orton. Uh-oh. Up on the shoulders of Keith Lee. Big punch to the face right out of the gate on Randy Orton. Oh, Keith Lee going for a bunch of strikes on Orton early on, but again, the dragon screw leg whip by Orton. Go for a ground and pound as Orton with the ground and pound on Keith Lee. Now, kick, just damn, strike to the arm there. Randy Orton just relentless here. Oh, man, go for, oh, look at that, stretching him out. That Randy Orton. Keith Lee quickly getting out of it. Keith Lee, Randy Orton back standing here. Uh-oh, Randy Orton go for the spike DDT early on in this matchup. If Orton can hit it, it looks like he does hit it. Just plants him. Orton has been on top of Keith Lee since the beginning of this matchup and is choking him out here. Might want to chill there, Randy. It isn't a no disqualification match, but Randy Orton to strike with the punches on Keith Lee. Cover on Keith to become the number one contender, but a kick out at one by Keith Lee. Good grief. And a, oh, Randy Orton again with the strikes to the face. Just focusing attack his attack on the head. And now Keith Lee may be stunned. Orton going up to the top rope here. Oh, double axe hit, the axe handle to the face. And again, strikes to the head. Good lord, this is relentless. Now Orton go for the knee to the pace, but again, Keith Lee countered. Go for a chop, but Orton again back on Keith Lee. Oh, Keith Lee countered with the knee to the gut. Oh, uh, but Orton again. Suplex to Keith Lee. Almost as if Randy Orton has just just dominated this matchup here. Always go for the Orton stomp. And now the Orton stomp on Keith Lee. Go for the RKO. RKO by the... Oh, no. Rope break. A rope break by Keith Lee. But again, Orton back on top of Keith Lee here. Oh, go for a strike again. But a Orton just... Oh my god, go for another middle rope DDT. My god, just dominating Keith Lee. Oh, but Keith Lee may be out. Enough's enough, Randy. You won the you I you basically won the damn match. You just gotta pin him. Oh, just a kick to the midsection again. Going going for this hold again. He's just trying to stretch out Keith Lee like good grief. I think if Keith Lee taps out here, Randy Orton is the number one contender. But what is Keith Lee going to do here? But Keith gets out of it. Oh, wait a minute. Or maybe look for something. Oh, just drops Randy Orton on the back of his neck. Keith Lee is back in control, or at least he's trying to be back in control, but Orton counters again. And a clothesline to Keith Lee. Just when you thought Keith Lee was back in control, Orton is just back on him. And that's gotta be it. Keith Lee cover. Oh, and Randy Orton beats him. Just like that. Wow. Randy Orton is the number one contender. had to be the most one-sided match I've ever seen. Randy Orton is now the number one contender and will face Roman Reigns at WrestleMania Backlash. I mean, you, you gotta really think about it and just say that Keith Lee had to have been embarrassed. That Keith, just, my God. Randy Orton, one of the most dominant victories I've ever seen Randy Orton partake in. And yeah, very disappointing main event for a lot of viewers here. Man, that was kind of a lackluster ending to Monday Night Raw. Oh well, what can you do? Randy Ward's the number one contender. Let's move on.
All right, so after a lackluster Monday Night Raw, let's see if SmackDown fares any better. And we're going to start with the SmackDown Women's Championship matchup here. We're going to simulate. Rhea Ripley. Ooh, Rhea Ripley beats Sasha Banks, but oh, disappointing start, though. Charity promo. Good. Get some fans. Then we got Samoa Joe and Rey. Samoa Joe beats Rey in a goal match. Ooh. All right, see, so got some fans there. We got Montez and John Cena here. Montez Ford gets a big win over John Cena in a one and a half star matchup. And now we're gonna spectate the main event for SmackDown as Seth Rollins takes on Drew McIntyre. Let's see how, let's see how this goes. And we're back in the gym for SmackDown. Still in Cleveland, Ohio. And now I believe Seth Rollins will be coming out first here. The Universal Champion. Oh no, Drew McIntyre comes out first. And he's got his sword, which he calls Angela. And Drew McIntyre looking for a big Universal title win here on SmackDown. Now I believe Drew's about to insert the sword into the into the gym floor. Oh God! Oh, that gym might might need smoke alarms. There's probably gonna be some smoke alarms, but Drew McIntyre looking for a big Universal Championship win. Drew McIntyre is a two-time world champion, former WWE champion, former NXT champion, multiple-time tag team champion, former Intercontinental champion, Royal Rumble winner. Drew McIntyre has done it all, except for winning a title in front of a crowd, and Drew wanting to do that here tonight. But in order for him to do so, he has to beat somebody who's on their A game, the drip god himself. Seth Rollins. Now, of course, you know, I can't really tell who's when he's coming out because, again, cheap venue here tonight. Universal champion. Dancing out, dancing like a clown here. He's just dancing because he's, you know, Seth Rollins, and of course, he's going to do so. And introducing the champion from Davenport, Iowa. Weighing in at 217 pounds, he is the WWE Universal Champion, I mean, this guy has swagger, but let's be honest though, Seth Rollins absolutely deserves to have that. I mean, he can back up whatever he does with confidence. I mean, he's a multiple-time WWE Champion, Universal Champion, Intercontinental Champion, United States Champion, Royal Rumble winner, Tag Team Champion, Mr. Money in the Bank, first guy to cash in at WrestleMania. This guy has basically done it all in this business. And Seth Rollins, basically the face of SmackDown at the moment. Looking to, I guess, continue to carry the torch of the blue brand. But in order for him to keep doing so, he's got to retain the Universal Championship over Drew McIntyre. And there you go. That's the championship that is currently being defended. As well, well the main event of Episode 1. McIntyre and Seth Rollins. Proud, very... Popped right there for Drew McIntyre. Seth Rollins holding up his Universal Championship. Very mixed reaction for him. As you can see the scoreboard right there. Seth Rollins looking at the Universal title. Maybe for the last time. But we'll never know until we actually see the end result here. And there you go. That's the, that's the Universal Championship that's currently being held by Seth Rollins. Is Drew McIntyre going to beat Seth Rollins here tonight? Let's find out. The, the referee rings the bell here. Here we go. Seth Rollins. Quickly going to... Oh, just smash his head into the turnbuckle. And again, and this time into the middle turnbuckle. Drew McIntyre may be dazed. Big knee to the face by Seth Rollins. Now Seth kicking 
Drew right in the middle of the face. Oh, going for a submission hold right early, right out of the gate. Looks like he may be gouging out his eyes a little bit. Just pulls down Seth Rollins. Come out of the midsection, Drew getting out of it. Drew manages. Oh, Irish whipped into the corner. Goes Seth. Uh oh. Go for the inverted Alabama slam. And Drew hits the inverted Alabama slam on Rollins. Oh, Rollins pushes Drew McIntyre off. Seth pulling up Drew. Going for it. Looks like a neck breaker. Oh, no, but he hits him with the forearm to the back of the head. Now he's going for it. Oh, just going after that knee of Drew McIntyre. Kicks down Drew. And now looks as if Seth was going for was getting hit with a big slam, but an inverted DDT goes McIntyre. And now Seth punching Drew right in the right in the face. And again, go looks like he was going for it again, but Drew McIntyre sweeps the leg out from under him. But this time Drew with his own punches. Current about goes fair play, says Drew McIntyre, but no. Seth Rollins just reverses with his own strikes. But McIntyre pushes him off again. McIntyre pushes him up. Looking for a strike. Misses. Strike to the face. Oh, kick to the midsection. And Seth Rollins back in control here. Oh, Seth with a chop. Oh, he's going after that knee of Drew McIntyre. Make sure he can't hit the Claymore kick. That's smart. Oh, but DDT on Drew. Now what is Seth going for? Oh, whatever he was going for may, may be moving point there since Drew got up first. Got him up over the shoulder. Chop to the back of the knee. The chop to the back of the knee goes down goes Drew. Now Seth going to bring Drew into the corner there. And now he's going to slam his face back into the top turnbuckle. Punch to the face. Another punch. A third. Now kick, and now he just seated in the corner there. Oh, right down the sit-out power bomb. Uh oh, Seth Rollins. I think he calls his black magic. Uh oh, go for it. No, Drew countered. Strike to the face. Seth Rollins is dazed. McIntyre. Future Shock DDT. McIntyre looking for the Universal Championship here. Oh, but Rollins gets to the bottom rope. Seth got hit with the Future Shock DDT. Uh-oh. McIntyre. I think McIntyre thinks this is it here. If he can hit it. Claymore kick. Is this it? Is Drew McIntyre about to win the Universal title? But no, and a kick out by Seth. Kick out by Seth after the Claymore kick. Just slams his arm down. And now McIntyre now, after the Claymore kick, seems to be back in control of this matchup here. Oh, but Seth gets out of it. Looking for a strike. Seth. Oh, but look at this back and forth here between Seth and Drew here. Go Trading strikes and blows. Now McIntyre. Looks like he's going for a big soup. Oh, Falcon Arrow by Drew McIntyre. Now it's as if Drew McIntyre is in control. He's going to dominate this matchup. Big leg drop off the second rope. I think Rollins is out of it. Uh-oh. Is he gonna? Is Seth Rollins gonna lose the Universal Title off the leg drop, but a kick out at two by Seth Rollins? Kick to the back. Seth feels no pain. Go for a power bomb, but a counter by Drew. Oh, Drew looking for a. I think that's like a nerve hold there, right to the arm of Seth Rollins. Is Rollins going to tap out here? If he taps out here, he loses the Universal Championship. Sweeps the leg out from under Drew McIntyre. Uh-oh. That may not be where Drew wants to be, but the stop! The stop onto Drew McIntyre. McIntyre's out. 
Seth Rollins is going to retain the Universal Championship. No! Rollins thought he was, he had, he thought he had Drew there. He's again striking the head. I think Rollins has to, has to be shocked. He thought he had Drew McIntyre with the stomp, but I think he may be looking for the black magic again. God, the strike to the back of the head. Now what's Seth gonna do here? Oh God, straight to the face. And now I think Drew's, Drew's out. Drew is out of it. This is gonna get hit with one more stop. A second stop. Cover. Seth Rollins retains. What a match. Seth Rollins retains the Universal title and what I thought was actually a pretty decent matchup between the two. Rollins kicking out of a couple future shocks. Oh, see, I think even the crowd thought it was pretty good. McIntyre and Rollins had a pretty good match with Rollins retaining after a valiant effort from McIntyre. Now let's see what the results of who has the most fans after week one. So Seth Rollins retains in a, in a good matchup against McIntyre, and now we're going to see how everything went. Okay, so it looks as if, for the most part, uh, it looks as if I basically did okay, at least for like the first three matches, and then the last match was pretty alright. So quality D, match card quality C, and I got 68,000 fans, but I was able to get some money out of it. Not too bad, not too bad. Now, let's see here. But I'm at number two, though, in the ranking. Because let's see here. Show quality D. So, oh, okay. So, it's definitely not, definitely very close. I did make a little bit more money, though. But Shadow has the most fans at the end of the week. So, got to be honest, very impressed. Very impressed. Shadow Hunter has... Basically has the upper hand here. So, alrighty then. Looks like not a bad start here for Shadow Hunter. As I am still the number two, but it's still it's still anybody's still anybody's game here. I will say we got a very eventful though first episode though. Ray Ripley's the new women's champion. Solid main event. Just Raw needs to pull through, and I think we can do it. So. Yeah, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. This is the Austinator. Signing out. Peace.